For this mother and son, fitness is a family affair. It's health, it's for a good cause, and it keeps our unity as a family together. Mark and Cynthia Torres and Cynthia's friend Christina Lopez were riding with the flow of traffic in a bike lane on Jackson Road in Far just before 6 this morning. They say they were wearing reflective gear, helmets and lights. Torres' husband was even following the group in his truck with emergency lights flashing. The lights were blinking off and on to indicate that there was somebody in front, that there was the, we were cycling in the front. That's what we call sagging. In an instant, Torres says another truck swerved around the protective vehicle and hit all three cyclists. Everybody flew up in the air, from my friend to my son. All of us flew up in the air. The driver who hit them fled the scene. How could this driver just be, you know, going around a big truck like my husband's and hit my dear friend and, and my son and I just like carelessly, you know, jump the curve, miss the poles, and just hit all three of us and keep going without even stopping to render help. Torres's son, Mark, now has cuts all over his body. Mom's hip now makes her limp. The third victim, 41-year-old Christina Lopez, remains in intensive care. I just hope we get justice for Christina because she's suffering right now. And my heart hurts for her because I couldn't do anything. It happens a lot here in the valley. And um, I, I'm just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to cycle anymore, to be honest. This family doesn't know when or if they'll be back on bicycles. I have the passion for the sport because I never give up for the sport of running, cycling, and swimming. But... It's getting so unsafe, especially for the cycling. They hope something changes in the valley to make fitness something that doesn't have to be feared.